Hello, just thought I would quickly go over how I have set up a touchscreen to work with Reaper. I had Fader Port 8 for many years, but the last several it has been acting up on me. It just doesn't seem to load properly, so I usually have to turn it off, relaunch Reaper, or uh, sorry, get out of Reaper, turn on the Fader Port 8, and then relaunch Reaper, and sometimes it would connect properly. Uh, usually the scribble strips would just say initializing. So I got tired of it, and because I don't think there's a better uh, DAW controller out there for my needs, I finally did enough research to figure this out. So as you can see, I of course have my mixer control panel on here, and all of that stuff if works. I can do my volumes there, I can solo of course. Um, I made an extra toolbar here to, for some of the features I will be missing from the fader port. So if I wanted to undo all the solos, I can do that. And of course the same for mute unmute them. I have the read and write mode um, just to go back and forth. Sorry, well it says write and trim, but um, just to go back and forth between uh, those two for any volume automations that I can do, uh, which I can of course still use the faders with. Um, I probably will miss the touch of the fader for that, but I don't do it that much, so it's fine. I also have my transport controls uh, floating, and these all do the same trick. Um, of course I have just the basics on there. Um, I've got the tempo, I've got rate, and I've got the time signature. So basically, everything you would see when it was docked, and um, that's all you know. Simple stuff to to mess with. You could just say you know dock and docker, and that's how you can do it. If you uncheck that, it floats, and then I just moved it to the screen. Um, it also works for plugins um, so if I were to I'll click that and open it up now this is opening on this screen because I already moved it here all my other plugins are opening up on my main monitor but that's because I haven't moved them to this one but after you move it here going forward every time I open it in this project it'll open here but as you can see it works there as well uh, I can even go in and out and the usual the only um, downside at the moment that I'm finding uh, after just a fresh setup is scrolling the mixer. Um, so if you click, it highlights the track. And if you click and drag, it moves it around. Well, using your fingers is the same as a mouse. So if I wanted to scroll, see it's kind of grabbing it for me. And uh, I can't scroll there. It's selecting things, it's highlighting things, it's moving it. All these things that I don't want it to do. Um, so at the moment, um, that's the only downside for me. And uh, I'll still be working on that to try and figure out the kinks. So if we take a look at uh, my main monitor, I have my toolbar on um, three because I've already used some. So let's open a random one here. Just go to 12 and you can edit and it comes up with this. So to add actions, you just do this and it brings up all your action lists and I can just double click it uh, and now it's on there. And then you can add an icon and it brings up all the Reaper ones so I can just add that one. And so apply, okay, and so now it's on my uh, toolbar. And so I of course just clicked and dragged that to my other screen. So that is pretty much it just make these things float and I switched it over to the other monitor I made a toolbar to get my uh, missing things that I needed onto it and really like I said the only kink is scrolling here you see I got it that time but this bar is so small I actually made this gap in between the windows because I frequently was touching this uh, one or if you do too low it wants to expand it so the only thing that kind of sucks without being able to scroll is I have to be pretty accurate, but you can see I just got it again. I missed it there. Just got it again. Missed it there. Missed it there. So if I were a little slower and took my time, but that's just not how I work. Um, so I will still be figuring out ways around that. As far as I know, Reaper does not have a way to actually do any sort of actions or specific modifiers to the uh, mixer panel. Um, but it doesn't mean I'm going to give up looking. So quick rundown on how I made this work. Um, let me um, take my phone off of here and I'll actually just show you the wider view. So there's my main monitor and now I have all this extra space by having my mixer down there. And then I just have the rest of my stuff. So everything's nice and linear. 
and I think this is going to help me a lot more, especially because the fader port basically stopped helping me for the most part. So there it is.